it going folk Lane Hart J Tech here uh, this week we're going to be doing a basic inspection and measurements of a differential in the rear end uh, we're going to go over the ring gear run out the backlash uh, and the end play as well as go through a few parts so let's get to it down here is actually the front of the rear end and it's where our pinion sits which is meshed with the ring gear and its main purpose is to transmit the power from the engine 90 degrees to the wheels which is accomplished by the differential that allows the wheels to rotate at different speeds the carrier assembly here holds all the components together it has two side gears which on the inside of the axles are spline too on the side there are the spider gears which are connected together by the spider cross a few of the things we have here are the side bearings uh, and next to the side bearings we have the shims which is what we use to adjust the different components to get the proper measurements and with that let's get into all the measurements first measurement we'll check is going to be our run out and we'll do that by rotating the ring gear um, Rotating the ring gear full 360 degrees. Uh, we're going to be starting off on our dial indicator at a 36 thousandths. And then after we completely rotate it, we get a 3 thousandths difference, which is indicating that is our run out. Uh, it's not ideal, but it, was, but it is within specs of a thousandth inch, because a 4 thousandths run out would be the max. Next, we're quickly going to check our in play by setting up the dial indicator on the end or the edge of our ring gear. We're going to pry it or push the gear side to side, and we are ideally looking for zero movement, which is exactly what we get. And now we're going to move on to backlash. Here you can see how the dial indicator is supposed to be arranged with the pointer on the teeth of the ring gear and then ensuring that the pinion gear does not move anything else move we're just rocking the ring gear to and fro back and forth and that is the space between the teeth of the ring and pinion gear also known as the backlash and our measurement here is six thousandths of an inch uh, this is good because a used gear set um, max is twenty thousandths another measurement we're going to be getting is our bearing preload uh, that is after we've installed the pinion install the nut properly to uh, crush the crush sleeve in there we are going to ensure our torque is going to be around 19 to 22 inch pounds we do that by rotating the whole pinion assembly first by itself and then later on after everything is assembled uh, with our inch pound torque wrench and like i said we're we have 20 inch torque pound and our specs are 1922 so we are good here our crush sleeve did its job Okay, so that's going to be it for basic rear end differential inspection and measurement. Thanks for watching. I'm Philip Wayne. And that right there is the reason I don't eat fish. Ooh.